what are countable assets, or specifically, what does Florida Medicaid consider to be countable assets when determining whether or not you are eligible for their benefits? And so when we're talking about countable assets, what we're really thinking about is, I want you to think about your financial assets for the most part. So for example, anything in the bank, anything in a brokerage account, checking, savings, CDs, stocks, bonds, um, uh, money market accounts. If it's in a financial account of some kind, unless it's a tax uh, retirement account, like a 401k or an IRA, and that's the subject of a separate video, um, anything in a financial account is going to be considered a accountable asset that will determine whether or not you are or are not eligible for Florida Medicaid benefits. Not only financial accounts, but they're going to look at the cash value of life insurance policies. They're going to look at the value of joint accounts that you have with others. This is a very common mistake that some of my clients make. They say, well, I'm, I have an account with you know 50 grand in it with um, my name on it and my child's name on it. So isn't only 25,000 of that mine? No, the full $50,000 is yours if it's, in, if it's in a joint account. If you have a second car, while one car is not counted, if you have a second car less than seven years old, that will also be considered a countable asset, certainly boats and trailers and things like that. Real estate, as long as it's not your primary residence, so a rental property, um, even vacant land, a vacation home, all of that is considered to be a countable asset. Um, and anything that we've talked about so far even if it's in the name of a revocable trust or a living trust, that will also be considered a countable asset. Just because it's in a trust doesn't mean Medicaid is not going to count it against you. Now, I also want you to keep in mind that uh, in Florida currently, this is now we're talking 2023. So if you're watching this video in a later year, these numbers may have changed. The Medicaid applicant themselves can only have $2,000 in what Medicaid considers to be countable if they're applying for the ICP or Medicaid waiver. These are the long-term care Medicaid programs. There are different asset levels for different Medicaid programs. Most of my clients come to me because they're interested in long-term care. But if they are married to someone and their spouse themselves is not interested in Medicaid, that spouse is allowed to have something called a, um, a Community Spouse Resource Allowance, or CSRA, Community Spouse Resource Allowance. This is a number that also changes every year. Currently, in 2023, that number is $148,620, meaning the Medicaid applicant themselves can only have $2,000. The spouse, however, can have $148,620 to their name. So meaning only if, if so if, they, if we looked at all these financial accounts and we said, okay, we have $140,000 between the two spouses, we're in great shape. We don't have to do a lot of Medicaid um, planning or, or invoke many of our strategies. It's for our clients who have more than their allotted amount, where you come to a law firm like ours, if you're anywhere in the state of Florida, and we can leg legally and ethically protect what you have in excess of what you're allowed. So again, that's $2,000 if you're single. It's $2,000 if you're single plus $148,620. If you are married to someone who does not need Medicaid, however, that number goes down again. If both spouses do want to apply for Medicaid, then combined, they're only allowed to have three thousand uh, dollars. That's combined, so you'll lose that community spouse resource allowance once both spouses need Medicaid. You also lose it if one spouse passes away. Now you're back to being a single widowed individual. So I hope this clears things up. There's certainly more to it than that. And if you want to talk about how we can protect your assets or your loved one's assets and become eligible for any of Florida's really valuable long-term care Medicaid programs without waiting, having to wait five years, without having to sell your house, without having to go broke first, please set up a consultation today. Thank you.